I want to ask you about this growing feud between former Trump insider Anthony Scaramucci, also formerly of the White House. He was a, a communications director for a short time. Uh, this feud with the president, where Anthony Scaramucci supported the president for a very long time, and he has now flipped, saying that the president is in nuclear meltdown mode. The president has fought back and said that he's just mad that he didn't keep him at the White House. What's happening here? What is going on and why are we seeing this? The only one having a nuclear meltdown is uh, Anthony Scaramucci, who is obviously trying to get attention. Uh, and the only way he can do it is to be highly critical of this president. And that's just ridiculous, knowing that Anthony Scaramucci couldn't even keep a job past the 11th or 12th day. In fact, when we were all at the White House, uh, there was that moment where that 11th day would reach and we'd say, okay, we survived day 11th, day 12th. We've made it past Anthony Scaramucci's uh, timeline. Why? Because he was an awful leader while he was in the White House. Awful. And the awful. staffers who worked for him, the staffers who worked for him always remember that as being a dark time in the White House communications office, uh, which was at a point that he uh, was highly critical of the staff, was threatening to the staff, to these young communication staffers who were simply trying to do their work and do the best they can to serve this president. Why did that, wow. So let me tell you, that? the fact they're giving him any attention, the media giving him any attention is obviously because the liberal media likes to find this one personality who only cares about himself, doesn't care about America, and is more focused about his reputation than talking we, about the great works that the okay, president we, we has just done. Have a